for me, I see the Greeks and Shakespeare uh, kind of both existing in this place where uh, this, like, academic pedestal of being... of something that is so... I mean, Shakespeare, as the Greeks did, is such a brilliant way to look at how humanity hasn't changed or the things in us that are eternal um, or how the things that exist in us as humans have existed for thousands of years. And you can look at uh, the worlds that Shakespeare created and the characters that Shakespeare created and their humanity and you can find connections to today and to 10 years ago and to 10 years from now and 100 years from now and it's the, I mean it's the same thing with the Greeks is that you can take something like Euripides and you can take characters like Oedipus or uh, Medea and and say that the kernels of truth in these characters are universal and, and eternal and that they've existed and lasted for thousands of years because they will exist and and ring true as long as we are as long as we are humans um so that in terms of what makes them stand out um for sure is that that kernel of truth and humanity but i also think of them on the same plane uh in terms of i think that most people would look at them and think of them as being separated or higher than or like out of their reach you know um like people most people read romeo and juliet or maybe hamlet in high school and like maybe they maybe they connect to something but it's mostly just a lot of words that they don't understand and and that's it and maybe maybe they'll see some Shakespeare at some point in their life and probably not, maybe not. But they'll think of it as this academic thing that has nothing to do with them. And the Greeks too, as they're put up on this pedestal. And what I love about and what I would hope to do in the future is break, break that down. The, like break down that legacy of this is not separate from you this is this is where we are now like um like most people don't think about Shakespeare as being the uneducated for for the uneducated and he was he was the guy who didn't go to college of the playwrights of his time he was he was made fun of for being too common he was put down for appealing to the masses and and he and he's so dirty and body and like it's like he'll just make the dumb jokes and make the dumb rhymes and and put that in with the stuff that's heart-wrenching and and true and it's the same with the greeks i mean thinking about the old comedy of the greeks and the closest thing that we have in comparison to that is south park and it's so close it's so like down to the way that they approach their comedy, the topical nature of it, the the lack of boundaries, the, the way that they name names, like Aristophanes went in on everybody and it was and it was like it wasn't this like higher art form. It was fart jokes, you know? Like it's like the Greeks and classics and Shakespeare are are not like the paragon of human existence. We're, they're 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 the best of us and the worst of us, and and the us, and they're not separate. And I like thinking of them as as that, and trying to trying to make up for the fact that people aren't as passionate about them by being more passionate myself. Like academia, for sure. <laughs> um, I mean, I think you could trace it back to uh, the way that learning has, I mean, I mean it, it, it's, it's definitely been something that has for a long time was 
put in place. I mean, in the Renaissance, it was like, we need to go back to the Greeks because the Greeks were this par were the paragon of a society. Of they were the utopia, they were the ideal. And when you think of something as an ideal, it doesn't it's not human. It's not you don't see the ways in which it is similar to you. You see the ways in which it is removed. There's a YouTube video called The Paradigms of Education that talks about like how our education system is all messed up and it goes back to uh, the industrial revolution that there's or even before that I think just the idea that there's like two forms of learning the classical and the I can't remember what the other one is but the, the te technical or the the like learning specific crafts and the idea that the the academic is a certain kind of learning and it's a little it's that it's definitely that like snooty old books leather bound rich mahogany like it it's a self-perpetuating thing within within learning i mean english classes history classes there's academia yeah academia in general and i don't think it comes from a a, necessarily a hurtful place. I don't think they're trying to to hurt to hurt the what they're talking about, but I think it does more harm than good to separate it out from like the common man, you know?